Hopefully I did not stress out all of you with my postings. Um, you did. You did. What do you mean I did, Donovan? Come out on the ones you put on discussion and the other ones, the, the videos. I love that um, um, Obama video and I love that. <laughs> that was awesome. I never saw that before. Oh, I, I love LeBron James. I'm, I'm from Cleveland, so. That was all right. You know, we I joke know. about the three comings of, of LeBron and how, you know, he just keeps yeah. coming back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I don't I, think he's coming back to Cleveland. I, I think he's done with us. But, but I didn't know um, Obama was their mentor. Well, I, I think it's a reciprocal relationship, but they clearly they talk to each other. Um, so yeah. They call him three o'clock in the morning, so hey. <laughs> I, you it. I believe it was midnight, but yes. <laughs> mm, that was I, I really like that. I, I really but that other I video really kept like kept um what you call this? Um swirling and stuff. I had to skip through some parts. Really? Yeah, it kept stopping. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. I'm sorry. Well it, it also it, it like you can uh, look in YouTube for oh I think it's Otis's story or whatever. Um, I actually was watching a service that it was shown on, so that's how I first found out about it. Um, but it's, let me take you into the course while we're all sitting here talking to each other. Um, you excuse me, you guys did roll call already? No. Not yet. Oh, okay. Uh, so Otis Moss um, the second was involved in the um, civil rights movement with Martin Luther King Jr. Um, mm -hmm. And this video was put together by his son or grandson. Um, so you can just you can look for Otis's dream and you'll find it's, it lives on. Actually, I think I shared. So if you click on I shared it directly from the site. Okay. So if you click on the little circle, it'll take you to their YouTube page. Oh, okay. Um, so if that works better, um, Blackboard just did an update, so I'm not, it might mess with some of my videos. Blackboard don't know what they want to do. Well, they want to make money. That's what they want to do. <laughs> okay, so let's, um, having said, have we done attendance yet? Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Run a new check-in session. This is class three. Okay. Guys are getting good at this. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks to you. Well, you know. I, I thank you. Works for me now. Well, good. Well, That's it makes uh, Professor Jackson's life a lot easier. So That's good. I figure we should uh, we should do what we can to make her life easier. That's right. That's right. Did everybody send their pay stubs into Roberts? Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, so um, I think we're close to everybody um, having checked in. I will um, 
Also take attendance in Blackboard and let um, Professor Jackson know if we missed anyone. Okay, okay so we have, um, as Donovan noted, because he said I did stress him out, there's a lot of stuff that I've put in Blackboard, but I'm trying to be better this semester and give you the stuff up front um, so that you have it at the beginning. Um, and, and I do feel like the, the assignments and the work for the semester are more straightforward. Um, you might disagree with me. I don't know. We'll see. Um, we'll see. <laughs> okay, so our announcement for this week, um, there's the teacher time episode on creating a responsive environment for infants and toddlers. It is a full hour. Um, but it's good stuff. Um, so you'll watch that video for the um, virtual attendance part of this week. So remember, you get 12 and a half points for being here tonight. Um, and then you get 12 and a half points for um, watching this video and then um, clicking on the link um, and responding to the questions in the quiz that is connected to that. Um, and just so you know, all of the quizzes, and I know we've talked about this in past semesters, but everything lives under the assessment section. Um, so creating a responsive environment is the activity for this week. Uh, creating a welcoming environment was the activity for last week. Um, I also added um, the where to submit the assignments that are due at the end of the semester. Um, so the social emotional development paper and the video introduction. Um, I included the directions and the grading rubric with that, um, but you also can find those under assignments. So we'll go ahead and, and just jump right in to um, those assignments. So actually, if we go back, well, I'll pull it up directly from my files. So um, if we look at our syllabus, and let me share that with you so you can all see it. Okay. And I am going to go ahead and mute everyone because I hear background stuff. Come on. Um, but as you all know, you're free to unmute yourself. Um, okay. So if you remember from the syllabus, we have. Um, two big assignments this semester. So the grading is really pretty simple. Um, everything is worth 200 points. So you get a total of 200 points for being here um, and for doing the, the weekly virtual activity that's posted in the announcements. Um, you get 200 points for the weekly discussions. And then we have a research paper on social emotional development and how you can support children's social emotional development through your environment. And then we have a, a video assignment. So, um, and those due dates are listed here as well. So they're due more towards the end of the semester. There are some dates for drafts and I added um, a date which is in the um, assignment direction. So if we go back to Blackboard Um, we'll start with that, even though this one is due the, la the later than the other. Um, so one of the assignments is that you'll be creating a video um, showing your indoor and outdoor environment. Um, and what you are going to be highlighting in the video are these different elements of a quality environment. And these eight elements are directly from um, the course textbook. 
So I'm actually going to open that up and get to that page. Okay. Um, so you should have already read this um, as part of your assigned reading for a previous week, but in section one, it talks about key concepts um, and, and walks you through these eight items. And so that is, is directly connected to what you're gonna be doing for the video assignment. Yeah, hold on. Okay. So if I take you back to here we are. Uh -oh. Okay. So if you are not currently working in a program, um if you don't have access, if something happens and your program shuts down, um, there is an alternative that I'm offering um, of where there are a whole ton of videos, or not videos, photos that are linked here. So this is a Google Drive. Um, and these are actually photos from infant and toddler um, programs um, in the state of California um, that are supported through West Ed and the Program for Infant Toddler Care, who are the people that have developed all of the books that, that you read for your courses. Um, so there are lots and lots of pictures that are linked here to um, the directions. I'm gonna see if I can also upload them into Blackboard itself, but I'm not sure if I can. Um, and, and the Google gal photo galleries are just fine. Um, so there's two different links for a whole bunch of, of photos that are more center-based. And then there's one link uh, with photos that are of family childcare settings. On the set, so for the, let me back up a minute. For the PowerPoint, you need to pick pictures that illustrate each of these elements of a quality environment. Create your PowerPoint presentation. You then have to have a script which you will record and embed into the PowerPoint. So there will be audio as part of it because I'm making you either do that or, or create a video. Um, so with the video, while you're walking around and showing those different elements of your indoor and outdoor environment, you need to be talking um, and, and talking about how what we're seeing in the video is reflective of promoting health or is reflective of maximizing flexibility. Um, the other piece with the video is that it's important um, to make sure that children are not in the video um, for confidentiality reasons. If you were to video the children, you'd have to have a permission slip from their parents for me to look at it, right? Um, so the part that says the video should include the children, how the children describe, the students describing how the environment promote each specific criteria, how are we supposed to do that then? No, you. You're the student. Oh, okay. So you basically, that's just us talking throughout the video, explaining each area, I'm assuming? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. I, I was a little, I, I had a little writer's block. So when I was writing this, I called you guys students. I don't know if that's helpful, but you are students, right? Um, and so the script for your video or for the PowerPoint is due um, Sunday, December 6th. And then the video or the PowerPoint is due Sunday, December 13th. Um, so the, it, 
the date for the final video itself is in the rubric, or not in the rubric, in the um, syllabus, but the script is not because I just added that when I was writing up the directions. Um, and my computer, I had to restart the whole thing. So I lost all of my files. Um, so when I tried to turn the syllabus into a Word document, it got really weird. So um, I didn't update it because it's here. Um, also, there is the grading rubric so that you have a sense of how this will be graded. Um, so each of the eight elements that you are gonna be highlighting is worth up to 25 points. Um, that will add up to the whole 200 points um, and it'll be graded on um, the scale of proficient, which means that everything is there, um, competent that some of the stuff is there and novice that very little or none of it. And then the other big assignment is a paper talking about um, how you can promote social emotional development in the infant toddler care and learning environment. So you will write a 750 word paper summarizing research on the impact of a quality environment on infant toddler social emotional development and well being. We're using the definition that we used in our social emotional class. So really thinking about it through the lens of how children see themselves, how they see others and how they see the world. And so really thinking about how do you support children in feeling capable and competent, feeling that the world is a safe place. I mean, we don't need to get too esoteric about the world isn't a safe place, but for that infant, they need to feel like the world's a safe place. Uh, <clears throat> And how to then that the adults in their life will uh, meet their needs, right? Um, and so as we're thinking about that, um, I'm framing it around these six messages um, from the creative curriculum philosophy, right? Um, so thinking about how does the environment give the messages of you belong here, this is a good place to be, this is a place you can trust, you can do many things and be independent, you can all, oh, right? Um, and I'm sure that you've probably seen those before because um, that's kind of at the core of, of creative curriculum. Um, and then you need to at least use three professional research-based resources. Um, I list a whole bunch of possible places that you can go. Um, and actually, if you, if you use creative curriculum in your program and you want to cite the foundation book that talks about all of this, um, you're more than welcome to. Um, the main requirements, are that it is at least 750 words, which is about a page and a half typed. Um, it doesn't have to be typed, but I would prefer it if it was. Um, it's kind of hard to read when you send me pictures of, of handwritten on um, papers. Uh, there's a minimum of one in-text citation and a reference page. I'm not gonna get super picky about APA formatting as long as it's clear to me what the sources are um, and you're not just saying that you went to zero to three, like that you tell me exactly what resource you looked at, um, the specific page on the website, that kind of thing. Um, we are breaking this up a little bit this semester. So on November 29th to, to turn in an outline or a draft, because this allows me to give you some feedback. Um, and also when you're writing a paper, it's really helpful to kind of outline out or think about what are the different things you're going to talk about um, so that then when you start to write there's a there's a flow to it. Um, you also um, are more than welcome and encouraged to take advantage of Professor Jackson. Um, this is part of why she's here right um, to give you advice and to help you with um, writing. 
And then I do have a grading rubric for this assignment as well. So it's the same format of proficient, competent, or novice. Um, points around each of the six. Oh, this is the wrong one, sorry. That's why it looks exactly the same because it was the rubric for the video. <laughs> okay, um, but again, the format's the same. <clears throat> so 25 points for addressing each of the messages. 25 points for incorporating research throughout the paper, referencing at least three sources and one in-text citation. Um, so as you're talking about each of the messages to be talking about the research that you did. Um, and then 25 points is connected to the overall quality of the paper in terms of writing and organization and flow. Again, I'm not super, super picky. I'm not looking for something that's publishable. It's really, does it make sense, right? Do you use paragraphs? Um, <clears throat> are there minimal spelling and grammar mistakes? Like, I, again, I'm really only concerned about uh, spelling and grammar when it impacts my the readability. So if I don't understand it, if it's taking me a long time to figure out what you're trying to say, um, that's where it, it'll get addressed in terms of points. <clears throat> so I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop sharing so I can see all of your lovely faces um, and see if there are any questions in terms of the two assignments. No. So do you agree that, that the assignments this time are a little bit more straightforward? Ms. Parker, how long does this video have to be? I would say it's probably going to take you about five to ten minutes to really cover all areas cover inside all and areas. out. Yeah. <clears throat> so we just show you a video of our room or you want the whole center? Just your room and, the, and an outdoor play space. You said the room and where else? Outdoor play space. Okay. So, and the 70, it won't take five minutes for me. That'll take about 35, <laughs> 50 seconds. <laughs> well, you have to talk about all the stuff too. So you have to talk about how you support safety, how you support health, how you give. Oh, I got to talk about how to support that. Yeah. Why? I feel like I'm repeating myself. Because that's in the, that's what the rubric tells you you got to to cover in the video. It's like taking a, a um, parent on a tour. Yeah. Um. So Professor Parker, we just, um, we're doing construction on the play space. So it's not really much out there. That's why I say now I also I about to say, we don't have a playground. So right now it's just grass in the tree. <laughs> we take oh. toys out there but right now it's like really nothing out there oh i got an idea for that just walk around the corner and say what you do on a, a nature walk we can't do a nature walk because we work on mlk and the crackheads did it so we <laughs> we can't do no nature walk <laughs> so i can so say about can, the toys that I'm i bring on, i'm on mlk I mean, you could bring take a nature walk no, see, it's uh, I'm about to say it's our director who say no nature walks. So and it's I not us. Because if it was up to me, oh baby, yeah. we about to go tour Saint Elizabeth. We about to go visit some of y'all family members or something. Like, uh, oh y'all <laughs> up that end. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm I'm down the other end. There'd be a lot of shooting out there, so yeah, and a lot of fighting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what you say? You said you have grass around there. Well, just yeah. Do so like we got um, we have a gated fence, and like we let the kids go out there and play, and like we bring toys outside. Yeah. For the yeah. Time so being. you talk like, about that. So like you show the space. You you might want to show some of the toys that you would bring out. Um, talk about what you do outside. Um, okay. I mean, if you really feel like your space just does not. It, it's just too hard to try to figure out how to address all these things with the space you have. Um, you are welcome to do the alternative and, and go through all of those photos and 
of, of very pretty well-funded programs that um okay <laughs> okay thank you you're welcome um but you know we and this is something that I, I really kind of struggle with because particularly the environmental rating scales tool that's used as part of the quality rating and improvement system and your quality rating and funding is tied to. Um, and yet, if you don't have the resources to have all of those things in the environment, it, it's discriminatory in my opinion. Um, but you have to deal with the, the environment that you have, the space that you have. And so as professionals, as educators who want the best for the children in the community, you figure out how to do the most with what you have, right? Um, so I know that while it may not have everything store-bought and look all beautiful and, and, you know, it's not like it's a center in, in DuPont Circle area, um, or maybe in California with some of the pictures that I've shared with you. Um, but you can do lots of beautiful things with the space you have and a little creativity. Okay. Well, uh, in terms of the paper, um, the length, it, I mean, I know 750 words sounds like a lot, but it's really not. It's, it's a page and a half. Uh -huh. And to really talk about all six of those messages, you need a little bit of time to talk about them. Um, but that's also why I want you to do an outline or a draft so that you have the opportunity to get started, to get feedback from me, and you're also giving yourself time um, to work with Professor Jackson, if you would like. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Other questions in terms of the assignments? No, it's pretty straightforward. To me, I'm speaking for me. <laughs> okay. Well, you all know where to find me too, so. Of course, in your little hut. <laughs> I like hut better than she shed. For some reason, it really bothers me. <laughs> Which unfortunately my family has figured out. So they call it a she shed just to irritate me. Oh, your she shed. Ah, uh, and now you see, I told you. Oh, I need to watch myself. Okay. <laughs> Under course content, um, I added the handout, the reading for this week. Um, it really is very straightforward. Um, the other thing that's really nice about these, this handout and other handouts is that it lists for you lots of resources. Um, and so as you're doing research for your paper, you have places to go, right? Um, and then I did connect the reading for this week to our discussion for this week. So uh, creating a responsive environment for infants and toddlers. Um, so you're going to look at the strategies listed on page three um, and in three to five sentences share what you've tried. So if we go back to the handout. Oh, page three on this handout or yeah. in the, on this? On this hand, on the reading for this week. Oh, okay. So right here where it says get creative, build a cozy space, add safe challenges, let them know what they can do. So um, really, you know, just thinking about trying one of these strategies and probably they're all things that you do all the time anyway. So that's section two you were talking about, the plan, right? Well, it's page three of the reading, what I'm showing right now. Oh, page three of that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, the other thing I would say just in terms of um, <clears throat> with the discussions when you're when you're responding to other people um, to make sure you're not just saying that's a great idea or I really like that. Um, you can start with that's a really great idea, but then explain why that's a really great idea or add additional information, right? It should be, there should be some depth to your response as well as to your initial post. Okay. 
Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> okay. Any questions? No. We're, really. we're going pretty light today. Uh-uh. In the video, we don't have to be seen. We just talking, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So all I should really see is the environment. Okay. Okay. Mm. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> almost done. I have a church. Right. I was going to say, are we back to, are we done yet? Um, I know I am. I have a church <laughs> conference <laughs> that I must zoom in on. Well, I don't want to keep you from that. Um, any other questions or things folks want to talk about while we're all together? None, I hear. <laughs> all right. Okay, so I'm going to um, just put back up. Oh, where did it go? Just in case anybody, because I know I've only got 15 people that have checked in um, and there are 17 of you here. Um, or 18, actually. Um, so if you didn't check in yet, please do so. Otherwise, um, thank you very much. We're, you're good to go. All right. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. See you guys. Have a good one. See you. you too. Enjoy your she sat. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. All righty. Talk to you later.